Teaching material may not be suitable for small children, some adults, a few senior citizens, many farm animals, and most household appliances. Flashlight. Where is that coming from anyway? Three lights. I have to hold two. Very embarrassing. No money. Can you tell this is no money? Tux is too big. I have no shoes. So I look all right. Flashlight. Bow tie. This is not called stand up flashlight. Damn, Pop. Jeez. Come up. Why am I here? Spots are my eyes. Ow. of Spotlight. I'm your host, Sally Jesse Raphael. <laughs> you guys are great. This is a great place, a great house, and a great show. We have a great show for you. We really do. Coming to the stage right now, a woman you may have seen on The Tonight Show. I saw her on The Tonight Show, and I said, I gotta get her on my show because she is incredibly funny. Ladies and gentlemen, Susan Norfleet. <laughs> Oh my goodness, thank you. My name is Susan Norfleet. I am, uh, I'm originally from the South. You're probably familiar with the South. That's where we tape all the hunting and fishing shows. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an amazing thing. Is it? Well, they have women hosting the fishing shows now. I think that's a lot of fun. Hi, my name's Francine McNett. Welcome to another edition of Fish Tips. <laughs> Today we're talking about baits. What do I use when I go for the big one? <laughs> I use Odell's new vibrating baits. <laughs> yes, if you want to outwit a walleye or outsmart a smelt, use Odell's new vibrating baits. I use them partly because they work and partly because I like the way they feel in my vest pocket. <laughs> or for a change of pace, try Odell's new pork flavored baits with real hog hair. <laughs> Woo, the fish love them, and after a couple of six packs, I'll eat them right out the can too. <laughs> I tell you, my favorite woman on television right now is this MJB coffee lady. It's a, she's up in the mountains, poor thing. It's a big burly woman. And she's, she's just huddled over this campfire and she says, up here in the mountains, all we drink is MJB coffee. That's a good cup of coffee. See that cabin? I built that cabin. <laughs> See those eight boys? I had those eight boys. <laughs> this coffee's so strong and rich, I didn't need a husband to have those eight boys. Thank you. Well, I think we are drinking more coffee these days. Less alcohol, that's for sure. Well, I think that's due in part to the fact that we have Spuds McKenzie, the beer dog, to teach us how to drink responsibly. <laughs> Know when to say when. That's what Spuds teaches us. You know, I've tried to understand the appeal of this dog. They dress him up in little suits and tuxedos and things, and women in bikinis dance around the dog. <laughs> Beautiful women on a yacht, all excited. <gasps> Spuds is getting on the yacht with us. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, as a single person, I think I can admit sometimes pickings can be pretty slim. <laughs> Really, though, how much beer would you have to drink? <laughs> before you date out of your own species. <laughs> Call me old-fashioned, but I've got to cling to the belief that human is an important dating criteria. <laughs> you know, speaking of party animals, uh, Kmart has, is, you know, this their own professional party planner, Martha Stewart. You may have seen her on TV. She says... Hi, I'm Martha Stewart, professional party planner for Kmart. <laughs> oh, golly, apparently no one has tipped Martha off to the fact that the average Kmart shopper can pretty much fill all their party needs at the Frito-Lay display at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> Say, honey, does Cheetos go with light beer? <laughs> Let's ace Martha. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. Look for my new book, Bean or Picante, The Dip Dilemma. <laughs> I tell you who's 
got a great new product on the market, the Remington Company, the shaving people. They've given us the new vibrating razor. Now, it's not a shaver. It's a razor blade that vibrates. Yes, you'd have to be a real thrill seeker to purchase an item like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Say you're tired of those minor league nicks and cuts and want a real shaving challenge. <laughs> then that vibrating razor might be for you. It comes with a year's supply of gauze and your own in-home IV kit. <laughs> I think they should have other products for people who would buy a vibrating razor. Say you're tired of the dull and dangerous task of eyebrow plucking. Well, then the all-new lunging tweezers might be for you. <laughs> Listen, there are dangerous things out there, a lot of dangerous things. That's why I was really happy to hear that the National Rifle Association is looking out for its new members. Apparently, for, according to their new commercial, if you join right now for $20, you receive absolutely free a $10,000 accidental death and dismemberment insurance policy. <laughs> say I don't hunt but with incentive like that <laughs> I was just sort of wondering what is next year's commercial going to have to be like both my arms were shot off in a hunting accident but thanks to the NRA I've got 20,000 big ones in my right hand pocket <laughs> no. maybe you could get that for me NRA, I salute you. <laughs> well, you know what? In honor of Valentine's Day, I'm going to leave you wonderful people with a little tip because I think this is so important. It's something that's really helped me uh, recently, and that is it's about relationships, and that is this. If you ever go out with someone who says this to you, I don't know why I'm not in a relationship. I have so much love to give. <laughs> Just know that what this really means is, I am the black hole of emotional need and will suck the life out of you. <laughs> I'm Susan Norbley. Thank you very much. Good night. Straight talk behind the scenes. Cameras over here and over here. I was influenced by Aretha Franklin. It had to be you. Exclusive. I always wanted to be a history teacher. Performance. Mixed in together. Every weekend. Love and fluff. Wow. Forever Tom. VH One to One. Each week a different artist. Each week a different story. This week, Eric Bogosian, creator of Talk Radio, with his provocative views on sex, drugs, and rock and roll. This is Civilized. VH One to One. This Sunday at 4. War is a part of man's basic nature. You cannot change the basic nature of man. He brained it. Poverty and crime are inevitable in a high You have to learn to accept pain. Don't get involved. You're we can control pain. emotions by introducing chemicals. Tired of the old answers? You can know about life and how to improve it. Read Scientology, The Fundamentals of Thought by L. Ron Hubbard. Buy your copy at Walden Books. At Vidal Sassoon, we believe getting hair into a superior salon condition takes three steps. Shampoo, conditioner, and finishing rinse. Now, the benefits of these three salon steps are in one bottle. Introducing UltraCare, the first salon shampoo and protein conditioner with the benefits of a finishing rinse. This final step helps seal and protect hair from styling stress. Shampooing, conditioning, even finishing, all in one. For salon quality hair, three benefits, one bottle. UltraCare. presents 60 Christmas classics. Christmas from moving solos to the most magnificent ensembles in the world. Order 60 Christmas classics today. Stereo four record set or three cassette tapes, 1995. Three compact discs, 29.95.
Credit card and COD customers call 1-800-257-2900 or save COD fees by sending $19.95 for records or cassettes, $29.95 for CDs, plus $4 shipping to the address on your screen. From Don Henley to Don Henley, VH1, the greatest hits of music video. funny, wasn't she? From the South. I like the South. People in the South are nice. They're much nicer than New Yorkers. Really, I went down South. I'm at this airport. They don't check your luggage tags there. You know, you check your bags in New York, you fly down to Georgia, there's nobody there to check your luggage. They just trust you'll take the right bag. Got a nice set of Yves Saint Laurent last month. I really did. People are just nicer than they lost my luggage, in fact. Okay, they lost my luggage and they lost this couple's luggage too. And they were from Georgia and they didn't even care. They were so sweet. They, honey, this guy looks away and goes, Honey, Sonny must have picked up them bags by mistake. <laughs> we'll just wait here till they bring them back. <laughs> I'm going, Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. This guy comes in from the pack, uh, with the pick. I'm so sorry. This looks just like my bag. Must be yours. <laughs> I'm going, Where is Alan Funt? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. Because New Yorkers, they have that tough attitude, you know? They're tough, they're rude, they're obnoxious, they're loud. I went to see Aretha Franklin in concert in New York City. Aretha Franklin, my favorite singer. It was ruined by these New Yorkers. Obviously, I was sitting in front of the entire Aretha Franklin fan club. From the moment Aretha hit the stage, only thing I heard was, That's right, Aretha! You can sing it! Come on, Riri! We love you! Yes, we do! I turn around, it's three white guys from the village, okay? <laughs> well, what does that mean? Does anyone know? <laughs> I like the South, though. I do. People are sweeter. People are sweeter. Sometimes, though, you know, I like that New York pace of things. I like that New York pace. Like, I was at the store and this lady was returning something. In New York, you go, you return it, you get your money, you leave. This lady started telling the whole store, well, you know, I want to return this nightgown. You see, my daughter's real sick. Not feeling too good in the hospital. She just had two little babies and has C-section twins. Very, very painful. Lots of stuff. I thought I would get her the big flannel. Thought it would be nice and billowy, you know, over the stitches and all, because she can't really bend very much, can she now? Mm -mm. I brought it into my daughter. She saw it. She said, Mama, flannel? What? Are you crazy? I didn't know she didn't like flannel, so I just thought I might bring it back and get her another one. What do you recommend? I was thinking maybe get her something in silk or sand. I'm just like, return it! You know? <laughs> didn't care about the daughter. It's just I have no patience for that. I'm born and raised in New York. I am. I'm trying to lose the accent, too, because I can speak without a New York accent if I open my eyes really wide <laughs> and actually think about everything I'm saying. <laughs> feel like a contestant in the Miss America pageant. <laughs> yes, Bird, first I would like to end world hunger and then become a brain surgeon. <laughs> I have the IQ of a piece of toast. <laughs> my talent is eyeliner. <laughs> Right. Uh, you're ready for more show, aren't you? Yeah. I can tell. Very funny guy coming to the stage right now. A comedian and an actor. Uh, just did an ABC after school special. Also was on the show uh, China Beach and also Empty Nest and uh, Baywatch. And he's a big star. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Brady. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And relax. That's very good. I was just in New York. I told this animal rights activist, go up to this lady, spray paint her fur coat. She was so upset about him, you know, releasing fluorocarbons, turned around and beat the crap out of the guy. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Everybody looks so nice now, the ladies, you did your hair, but some of you ladies, you only did the front of the hair. What? What are you, like, you look in the mirror, you go, yeah, that's okay, right there. Gets... Look at... You got kind of a moose rake. A woman like that tripped, invented the garden weasel at one point. <laughs> Fill the soil with the head. That's good. Oh, this is like a giant light bright. Remember that from you were a kid. How are you, sir? Very good. What is your name? Jeff. Jeff, yes, that's correct, Jeff, it is. Jeff, you're feeling very loose right now. You're feeling very, very loose, as if, you're, as if your body were made of gelatin or some sort. Your eyelids, if I had taken an eye, uh, sandbag, 
placed it on your head and hit it real hard like that. I want you to relax. Now, when I say the word, oh, potato, you will stand up, rip off your clothes, screaming, take me, take me all, but be gentle. Do you understand that? Yes. yes, you do. And relax. Oh, that was a hard one. I think I could have a lawsuit on my hand over the word potato. Realize that we are on television and uh, could be intimidated by the cameras. Potato. Taters. Spuds. Thanks for making me look good. Tater tots. <laughs> They caught another med fly here in Los Angeles with two kilos of cocaine. This has got to stop, ladies and gentlemen. No such thing as a med fly. It's just a reason so the government can spray that mind-controlling joker gas. <laughs> honey, honey, they're spraying for med flies again. Boy, that government takes care of us. Where's my checkbook? I want to pay a little extra state tax today. Should I put on the memo? I will obey. <laughs> We're living in a great decade, the 90s, the end of the communist regime, huh? Yeah. Notice, whoa! One week after the first McDonald's opens in Moscow? Coincidence or special sauce? I leave it up to you. I leave it up to you. Potato. French fry. Just take off a tie. Just do something to make me look like I'm good. <laughs> oh, I was in, I was actually, I was in New York. I went to the park and I saw, it was disgusting. I saw all these empty vials of crack. Come on, they could recycle. That's all I'm going to say. That's a, no, I'm for the new slogan, hugs, not drugs. Even my local pusher said, let's just cuddle, please. Let's just. Should have seen us in the alley. Precious and few are the ones. <laughs> They suspended a jockey for riding his horse in the Breeders' Cup. That's a horse race, not something they hand you at a sperm bank, you know. They, because they, uh, they found traces of cocaine in his body. Now, I, I'm very much, very much against drugs, but come on. You could be on lithium and ride a horse race, couldn't you? It's kind of... What, do they think he'd pick up the horse, you know, win the race? What I want to know was the horse in on it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> Today I had one of those, uh, those new cholesterol-free donuts. Same great taste. If it's, yeah, right. <laughs> That's actually what I wrote. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, why, why still make the old kind if they taste? You know, I know they taste the same, but I'd really like those lard-filled, fat-glazed donuts right there. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, folks. Have a good day. Potato. It sure does, with VH1's history of music videos A to Z. Because we play all your favorite videos, both old and new, from Adam Ant to ZZ Top. Put the past in front of you every day with a new letter of the alphabet on VH1's history of music videos A to Z. Weekdays at 5 on VH1. White Palace. What do you want? You looking for travel? I don't know what's happening to me. I have never wanted a woman as much as I wanted you. What you, need? you brought my cleaning equipment. I have ring dings under your furniture. Do you know I, I only know that when I'm not with you, I'm a total wreck. And when you are with me? I'm a different kind of total wreck. Oh, Susan Sarandon, James Spader, White Palace, Rated R. Starts tomorrow in select areas. Tone up your body with exercise. Tone up your skin with tone. I'm toning up. I'm toning up from my head to my toes. I'm toning up. I'm toning up. Now my skin's gonna glow. I'm toning up. I'm toning up. Toning up looking good. I'm toning up. Tone, the skincare bar with cocoa butter. It cleans, moisturizes, and conditions for healthy looking skin. I'm toning up. I'm toning up. Now my skin's gonna glow. Tone up with tone. Now in cream color. 
it's simple. Pull over and make a fast call, but I'm using this other long-distance company. They tell me to punch numbers and more numbers. One, I'm double parked. Huh. They call this easy. Perfect. If calling long distance isn't what it used to be now, it's easy to come back to AT&T. Call 1-800-821-4400 now and we'll switch you for free. They said save big over AT&T, giving me the old hard sell. So I switched. But my bill comes, where's my big savings? I don't understand what's going on. It's easy to understand about savings with the AT&T Reach Out America plan. Now our lowest prices can start at 5 p.m. I'm not asking for a lot here, just someone to talk to. I call up customer service, I wait and wait, finally they pick up. And I get a recording. Yeah. For dependability and service you know you can count on, it's AT&T. They call this easy. I don't understand what's going on. What am I doing wrong here? You're not dealing with AT&T. Oh, I am now. Call 1-800-821-4400 right now and we'll switch you for free. Isn't it time you came back? From Phil Collins to Phil Collins. VH1, the greatest hits of music video. Coming to the stage right now, originally from Boston, an Irish guy, I like him a lot, ladies and gentlemen, Jack Gallagher! Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh-oh, I'm outside. Very anxious moment over here. You're waiting to come on. You have to make sure everything's right. This is the last thing you do. <laughs> Check the mouth and the fly. Because nobody's going to tell you if there's anything hanging off your mouth. Have you ever noticed that? You have a coffee break. You get a little hunk of donut on the corner of your mouth. You can't see it. Everybody else sees it. Nobody says anything to you. Apparently, they're afraid they'll embarrass you. <laughs> yeah, they don't say anything, but they make those little gestures at you. Jack, how you doing? <laughs> I think they've lost their motor control. I'm fine. Get back. <laughs> so I'm waiting over here. I'm in my favorite position. I'm next. I love that position. And you know, I think we're preoccupied with being first in this country. Don't you? Everybody wants to be first at everything. How many times do you find yourself passing somebody on the street in your car just because you want to be in front of that guy? <laughs> you want to be first. Yeah. I'm sick of it. It's making me tired trying to be first. You know what I want to be? Next! I want to be perpetually next! Next is always a good position. Close enough to see first. Feel the anticipation, none of the pressure of being first. Next feels pretty good! Think about the last time you were next. Probably at the post office. One of those horrendous post office rat maze lines. Back and forth, back and forth, waiting, waiting. Suddenly, you're next! Does it get any better than this? Huh? You're looking around. What window's gonna open up? Doesn't matter, it's mine. I'm next! There's a certain amount of fame that goes with it. Everybody in line knows who you are. Hey, who's next? That guy. Sometimes when I'm next, I'll let other people go in front of me. You, go ahead. I'm still next. I just may go to the post office at 8 o'clock, be next all day long. <laughs> Which will be uh, the oldest I've ever been when that happens. And I can feel it happening, man. I woke up this morning, I was sore. I hadn't done anything. Oh, I'm sore from sleeping, basically. Boy, that laying in one spot for eight hours, that'll wear you out. Woo! You ever wake up and do that go, oh, oh. Hey, I must have slept wrong, yeah. No, once you've fallen asleep, you've completed the task. Let's move on. We're getting to be stupid people. This country, we're getting to be stupid. We're not stupid yet, but we're getting there. We're, we're so lazy, we don't want to do anything anymore. This is a great thing. Go to Burger King, go to McDonald's, go to any fast food place. No longer are there numbers on the cash registers. Have you noticed this? They've taken all the numbers off. Every food item has its own button. <laughs> cheeseburger has a cheeseburger button. So now the kid behind the counter doesn't have to know how much a cheeseburger costs. You say cheeseburger, all this goober has to do... <laughs> find the cheeseburger button. <laughs> The 
are still having a hard time with this. Because you're going to go, give me cheeseburger, large order, fries. Or, whoa, 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 one at a time, one at a time. find the cheeseburger button but he's gone on a wireless headset <laughs> have you seen this look at the power pack and a microphone yeah. pretty sure they need this technology at the burger king <laughs> what's he talking down disabled aircraft between whopper orders one whopper check your altimeter don't panic check your altimeter <laughs> he's got on a paper hat and nine thousand dollars worth of audio equipment on his belt. <laughs> Get a better hat. You know why they have these things? So they can keep track of each other from different parts of the restaurant. Come over by the salad bar. I have an unauthorized second visit. I've got him. I feel like going, could you lean over the counter? Because <laughs> nine times out of ten, they get so close to the microphone, you can't understand what... You can't understand. Give me a whopper. <laughs> the cook has to come out of the kitchen. What? Whopper with cheese! Here's where I draw the line. I do not want to see the cooks in these places. No. These are the people that you wouldn't want sitting next to you while you're eating, let alone touching your uncooked food. <laughs> these kids sound like they're training to be airline pilots, don't they? Have you ever understood the pilot on the plane? No. You get on, they give you a little welcome aboard speech. <laughs> Said the kid next to me, what do you say? Whopper with cheese. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Jake Gallagher, we'll be right back. Okay, isn't it MTV's half hour comedy hour?